Good evening, everyone. My name is Matt Caesar, the valedictorian of the class of 2017. And it is my pleasure to represent the greatest class to ever attend Cherokee High School. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who know me, you must be wondering, how in the world is this kid a valedictorian? Fair enough. I still use that trick to tell my right hand from my left. I need my dad to tie my ties for me. And don't ask me how long it took to get these buttons on the rest of my dress shirt together. So it's safe to say I've got a lot of people to thank for my being here in front of you today. On behalf of the class, I'd like to start by thanking all the teachers and administrators out there, especially Ms. Politis for helping me write this speech, and Ms. Wood, our class advisor, who, like us, is retiring from Cherokee after this year. Next, I would like to thank my friends. From playing video games for about four hours a day freshman year, yes, I'm serious, I know I still won't do it, to three-on-three -three basketball, to countless other activities, I know I can trust you guys to always have my back, unless I show up short 10 bucks. Also, my brother Mark, who, fun fact, was Cherokee's class of 2014 valedictorian. We successfully established our family as the biggest nerds in town, Mark. It's been a pleasure being the taller, more athletic, better looking brother all these years. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents and all of the parents and family members here tonight. From the first day of school to the last, thank you for always being by our sides. It seems like just yesterday you guys were talking us into bed, combing our hair, and picking out our outfits. Wait, that was just yesterday. How'd you people think I was look so good? Thanks, Mom. When we first entered Cherokee, we were told that we were not at all prepared for high school, and there were a lot of things that middle school could have never prepared us for. First of all, there's the school parking lots. There's nothing more heartless than when someone makes eye contact with you while you try to pull out of the lot, and they still won't let you out. Let's you know who you can really trust. More concerning is the heat in May and June. Every year, it gets to the point where your best friend becomes the one fan found in every classroom. Really, gray shirts, should, gray shirts should violate the dress code. Nevertheless, we made it through all these hardships to senior year. As fall of senior year crept by, the future became not so much a distant mirage, but more a tangible event that we would soon reach. Around Christmas break is when we realized how odd being a senior in high school truly is. Senior year is unique in that it leaves us in a kind of limbo forced us to think a lot about life in the present. As relationships became tighter and tighter throughout senior year, we felt helpless. Like attempting to save the last bite of a scrap of favorite food, seniors often find themselves trying to hold on to the present. So we sit around the TV with our family, realizing that this time next year we won't be able to see our parents every day. Our siblings won't always be there to bother us. We sit around a bonfire with our friends, knowing that next year we won't be just a 15 minute car ride away when we play our last sporting event or finish the last robotics meet, the last school show. It's these moments where we truly realize how valuable our time together is. So I want to get a little corny here and then on quote. It's from a movie I know anyone in my sophomore English class with Miss Pulverenti will remember, as she tried to loosen us up a little by making us stand up and dance during one of the scenes. She tried, but if you've ever been to a school dance, you can guess how it turned out. The movie's about a kid who cut school for the day, something I want to know about. Ferris Bueller says, Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. We're at the end of the movie of our high school careers. The credits are just about to start rolling. That sad, all the, all the times we've had together song we'll play. And I suggest for next year we play All Star by Smash Mouth. And we'll go our separate ways. So here I am, presenting all of us with one last opportunity. Stop and look around. At your best friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, People you wish you'd gotten to know better, and people you do not know at all. All of these people have had an effect on you, whether you like it or not. You would not be exactly as you are today if you went to any other school. And for that reason, I think we all owe each other a thank you. I couldn't be more proud of the people we've all grown into. Most of us. Through all the sleepless nights, the horrible tests, the new friends, and the first days, here we are, on the other side. As we head into the future, do not forget the past. Go out into the world and use what you've learned here to make memories so great that high school memories are nothing but an ant beneath the shoes of your new ones. Live out your wildest dreams so that when you run into one of your Cherokee classmates one day, you have some good stories for them. And no matter where life takes you, don't forget to stop and look around every once in a while. Because life does move pretty fast, and it would be a shame if you missed it. 
Now, one last time as a class and as Cherokee students, will all graduates please stand? Please move your tassel from the right to the left. Yes. Yeah. 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 I owe you guys. <laughs> you are now Cherokee High School graduates, class of 2017. Congratulations. Oh, Bob. You may now pay your tax.